We're now approximately six weeks into the Bentley Mall Sound build process. We have a track which actually is a slow moving track. It stops intermittently to allow our build associates to fulfill their individual work requirements. You can see at this stage now we have all of the necessary protection on the cars. We started to put in all the sound insulation, the initial wiring looms are going in here and we've just literally fitted on this car the windscreen. Very precise, it has to be glued into position with the right gapping around the actual aperture frame. You can see on the individual trolleys here the parts that now arrive on the track. We have for example the steering wheel, the manifest showing for this car. So this handcrafted wheel now we have available and will be fitted by our build associates. All of the parts are built to a manifest to make sure that we get the right colour combination and the right level of parts on each car. Each car is individual and you can see from the layout, from point of view interior exterior colours, the amount of variation that we can get at this build stage. As we move along our assembly line, you can see now as we're starting to see a much more complete vehicle, we can see the centre console now has been fitted, the fascia has been fitted. We have extensive use of protection on the exterior panels to make sure there is no damage, very important at this stage of the build. We also see the individual parts with, again, individual covers to make sure that we don't damage lenses, for example, on the rear lamps. And as we progress along, you can see now the car actually started to take shape. We have the interior carpets, we now have the gear selector uh, position, also the IP and fascia and steering wheel joining us. So here we have now the car at the latter stages of its assembly. We can see the ring of wood now taking shape as we've seen previously. The extensive insulation that we put into the vehicle for NVH, uh, ride improvements and general noise suppression. The electronic componentry this carpet's now starting to shake, take shape. The um, tunnel and all the interior wood sets now in place at this stage. This vehicle now has all of the rear seats installed. You can see the cushion, the squabs, the seat belts. We're just now waiting for the final rear armrest assembly to go into place. We have all of the wood sets, the rear ring of wood. We have the cant rail trim, the individual vanity mirrors, and all of the roof trim. We also at this stage have the carpets now with all the piping fitted and the rear of the console now in place. The final stage of this build is actually now the assembly of the doors. We're now at the end of our assembly process. You can see behind me we've just come through one of the many, many quality audit stages, the light bay that you see there. The vehicle here now has just been parked into one of the side bays as it undergoes its final static tests prior to dispatch for dynamic testing. You can see we're now just awaiting the radiator shell assembly to go on. The side lamps are lit at the moment, that's part of our electrical test. You will see the fact that we have chargers now on the batteries. It's important at all stages that the battery is kept at its optimum voltage to make sure it replicates exactly how the customer would drive under dynamic conditions. Still to fit the engine cover at this stage and the final stages of the pan alignment through the final stage of the process. What we have now is a very thorough electrical test procedure. This piece of kit that Ian is operating connects directly into the electrical architecture of the vehicle. And through this, we can evaluate every test procedure the car will ever go through in its life. It's important because we can actually assess to make sure that all of the electronic architecture and all of the equipment has been built properly.